Hello, I'm the Flawless Walrus, and welcome back to another Death Battle Prediction video. But first, we have Joker versus Giorno. Now, um, going back to my classic phrase with a lot of the Death Battles that I call right, but it was basically as a as a, we broke it down last time. Uh, Joker just had way too many ways to basically fuck up Giorno in base, no problem. And even with Gold Experience Requiem, he had ways around it, had ways to be immune to it. It was really telling that the um, the stat breakdown that they gave uh, for the pros and cons for each of them literally boiled down to Giorno's big pro was has gold experience Requiem, and Joker's only negative was gold experience Requiem prevents some stuff. So, yeah, that was a pretty one-sided one, technically speaking, though ironically wasn't as controversial as a lot of people thought it was going to be. Most people saw Joker win and were like, okay, yeah, that checks out for the most part. Uh, there's obviously going to be a couple outliers um, of people just being salty, but either way, uh, pretty well received. The animation was also very good. Uh, there was a couple moments of stiffness here and there, like, um, like when he was like on the grappling hook. It was a little bit stiff, but man, the end of that fight was so good. Um, just the whole part with um, a sat nail and the sinful shell. That whole section was really damn good. Um, but yeah, pretty straightforward. Great fight. I would say it's the better of the two episodes that we've gotten so far this season. But hopefully it won't be for long because now we have Bowser vs. Eggman. And we've known about this one for a while. It was the other of the two uh, pre-teased ones. And... This is going to be interesting because it is a full-on army fight. They're including all of the minions and all of the, I guess, like, specialty minions as well. Um, like, for example, we're getting Bowser Jr. and Sage and stuff like that. So it's going to be really interesting to see. They have a lot of ways that they can kind of play each other. Um, but I think Bowser is really coming out on top on this one. Now, even just ignoring stats, which I do think Bowser ultimately has way higher stats, especially if you're taking into account uh, MacGuffins like the Dreamstone. Uh, the Dreamstone maintains every dream that's ever been dreamt as its own universe, and these universes are at least large enough to have full-on constellations in them. So this is multiply that by however many dreams that every person ever has had, and that's a lot of whole, that's a fucking lot of universes. So, I don't think Eggman can keep up with that in terms of power. Um, and then in speed, that's a bit more of a funny situation because you'd think the Sonic character would be much faster, um, but Mario actually does have higher speed feats, which is part of why it's kind of funny that uh, the one thing that you'd think Sonic would come ahead on uh, Bowser actually is higher. Um, like, there were pieces of a, uh, I believe it was, like, a star in Mario Party or something like that that scattered across the universe, and, like, it crossed the universe in minutes, and, like, characters reacted to it, like, coming down and, like, got out of the way. Um, and then you have the actual kind of crux of the debate that people are having, which is the armies and their hacks. Now, there's not a whole ton of specific characters that are causing a lot of uh, a specific debate, um, I would say that there's a couple standout ones. Like, you've got, on Eggman's side, the Time Eater, Sage, and that's kind of the only ones that people are particularly talking about as far as the party. Um, but, like, you do have also peop uh, weapons and such that Eggman has. Like, the Metal Virus is one that people are talking about. Oh, I guess people are talking about Metal Sonic, too, but barely, because he doesn't really bring a whole lot to the table, because he's mostly just a stat brick. Sage, at least, comes with people really liking her because she's recent, and then the fact that she kind of, like, helps control the whole army. Uh, and then Time Eater, just because lots of hacks. That's kind of it. Um, ultimately, though, the Metal Virus is kind of one of the big things that people are pointing out. It is like a virus that will actually, like, uh, mind control you and uh, make you serve Eggman. So definitely a threat in an army battle. 
At least it would be if we didn't have really, really good cases for resisting it for everyone. Um, in the Bowser's Minions uh, game, the add-on to Bowser's Inside Story, there's actually a virus that is going out and mind-controlling enemies to not serve Bowser. But it is through those minions that basically their pure love for worshipping Bowser's feet and shit, like just worshipping the ground he stands on, um, completely negates this uh, this virus that's, that's mind-controlling minions. So that's a hilarious counter, but the second funny counter is that everyone in Bowser's army has a fucking PhD, and in the Dr. Mario world game can get rid of viruses. Um, I really hope that gets mentioned, because three Goombas in a trench coat is, has a PhD and can get rid of viruses, so it's a missed opportunity if that's not mentioned. Uh, but that's only one of the particular things. You still have a bunch of other characters. Now, I'm curious how they're going to go about a lot of um, Eggman's minions getting the Chaos Emeralds, because that is one of the things that tends to power them, but there's only so many of them. So it's not like every one of his things can get a Chaos Emerald, otherwise he's going to run out of them. Um, but one of the big things is that that doesn't quite matter, because those Chaos Emeralds are going to be flip-flops. Yes, you heard correctly. Um, Kamek, one of the classic mainstays of Bowser's army, is capable of turning any equipped items, such as, say, Chaos Emeralds, uh, into flip-flops. Uh, that applies to both basically the Chaos Emeralds and the one that Infinite uses to uh, copy uh, people infinitely. Uh, so the, what, Phantom Ruby, I think it's called? I think the Phantom Ruby. Uh, yeah, that is going to get turned into a flip-flop. Uh, so not only does that work pretty well on objects, it also depends on what you would call most of Eggman's machines. So as you can tell at this point, I think that Bowser wins. Uh, just because I think he's got counters to basically everything that Eggman has, and he outstats. Now, one of the other fun things that we have here is that boos are particularly fun guys in this case. Um, they can possess machinery. That's pretty cool when your opponent has an army predominantly made of machinery. So, uh, just boos everywhere, going into machines. Basically, it's a method of turning... Uh, Eggman's army back on itself that he can't really counter. Um, some could make an argument that Sage would be able to re-exert their influence to make the machines, but I don't think that would really kick out the booze. There's no indication that it would. Um, and then that brings us to actually being able to get rid of Sage. Um, King Boo, uh, notably he can kind of BFR things, battlefield removal, and just slap things into portraits and call it a day. He's got some sealing capabilities, and apparently he can't actually interface with digital matter. Um, he can deal with programs, including Sage. So we really have a whole swath of things on Bowser, Bowser's side that just deals with everything that is needed. Um, I can't think of too many things that Eggman has that would be able to get past all of this. Um, and, yeah, that's kind of what it about comes down to, is just Bowser's got way too much shit, and Eggman doesn't really have a whole ton of things that do much beyond just kind of being stat bricks. Um, yeah, as far as the animation goes, it's going to be hand-drawn. I'm super excited for that. Um, and I'm super curious about a couple things. Like, are they going to kill... A lot of the the minions, I can definitely see a lot of the minions dying. Uh, we're going to get like, oh, the King Goomba got fucking killed. Um, and I'm curious if they're going to go the route of killing either Junior or Sage. That'll be friggin' crazy to see, because if they decide to go that route, then there's going to be some feels in the chat. Um... I had a funny hypothet, well, funny to some people, including me, not funny to other people, um, of what happened if Junior dies in the fight, and then after Eggman dies, uh, Bowser has King Boo 
reprogram Sage to be a, a digital Bowser Jr. That would be really hilariously feelsy and just kind of rub salt in the wound a little bit. Um, I don't expect them to do anything like that. I'm thoroughly curious as to what the, the final section is going to be. If I had to guess, it's probably going to be the, um, the, like, super form that Eggman has where he actually, like, uses Chaos Emerald's power to kind of attain, like, a faux super form. And for Bowser, I think it's going to be the last thing that Junior does before either passing out or dying, potentially, to um, cover Bowser in the same shit from Bat Bowser's Fury. And then it goes full on into that, which uh, would be very cool and hopefully very metal with the soundtrack. Because if there's one thing that Nintendo has been very much proving with Bowser, it's that this dad loves metal. Every Mario Kart course is just shredding, and even back on the fucking SNES, they still managed to smash as much um, guitar shredding as that sound chip could handle. Um, I'm really hoping that there's some good metal parts of the uh, song for this one, and I do have really high hopes for it. I'm super excited. Um, so it'll remain to be seen how this one goes. I think it's pretty thoroughly in Bowser's court, um, but only time will tell. And for the next time, we have basically one clue about it, is that it's a fight from the vote that happened with the, um, with the, uh, what's it called, the Ballad of Champions. Um, at least I believe it's only going to be ones from the Tournament of Champions, uh, sorry, which is the one from last year, where Wile E. Coyote versus Tom the Cat won, which means, if I had to guess from those... I think it might be Fall Guy versus um, uh, Among Us Imposter. I will be laughing if it is, because uh, that sounds like a really fun one. If it is not specifically from the vote, um, if it's from the Ballad of Champions from two years ago, I am hoping for the Knights versus Ori. Really hoping. I, I have high hopes that that will actually be at some point during this season. And, oh boy, I'm ready for that. Either one of those I will be very much stoked for and having a very fun time. But we shall see, and I will see you guys for the next one. Have yourselves a good one.